bidding farewell to one who embodied coexistence between two worlds. The casket of actor Giuliano Merhamis is brought to a checkpoint in the West Bank so Palestinians he worked with can pay last respects. Among the mourners, conflicted views. When I knew that a Jew was killed, I was happy, and other people were happy. I'm not going to hide it. Giuliano Merhamis was half Jewish, half Palestinian. He was at home among Arabs and Jews, but often both saw him as an outsider. He tried to bridge differences through theater, training young Palestinian actors, before he was gunned down near the theater he founded in the Janin refugee camp. Here, outsiders are often seen with suspicion. Many observe strict Islamic codes and some resent the theater for letting boys and girls interact on stage. This theater is against Islamic Sharia law. For example, a boy seven years of age can mix with females, but not once they mature. Zakaria Zubaydi is a former militant who gave up bomb making for theater. As a close associate of Merhamis, he shared the actor's dream of using art to fight Israel's occupation. He says Merhamis was a man of peace and this was not supposed to happen. With the killings of all the ones I loved, including Giuliano, I started having a feeling that every time I work with someone to build Palestinian society, I lose him. I wonder why. For some, Merhamis has made a difference even in death. The man who said he initially cheered the actor's death has changed his mind. Now, I have the idea that he was a good man who was considered a martyr. On the contrary, we should encourage his ideas of tolerance and coexistence in order to live in peace. Actors meet to talk about the future, and the Freedom Theatre continues its work. Its founder is dead, but not his dream. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Janine in the West Bank.